Okay, this question or comment comes to us from John and he's asking about the L to L, which is great. And he says the L to L works great with most all these clubs. With these short irons, he's noticing that when he does the L to L, he's losing some distance in his short irons. Okay, well, how do you control your distance or how do you control trajectory so you control distance? Whether you're doing the L to L or not, this is always going to stay the same. I mean, the L's are going to work. But the difference is, when you're controlling trajectory, once you get how this right arm works, all I'm really doing is as I swing, when the club runs into the ball, the further my right hand, or my knuckles, are behind my right wrist, what does that do? Well, that de-loss the club a little bit. So if I put my right hand, if I leave it way behind the, my wrist, what happens? The ball goes fairly low. Now, if I let the club catch up, or if I let my wrist catch up with my, or my hand catch up with my wrist, what happens? Well, the ball goes a lot higher. Okay, so even if I'm doing the L to L, so this one, this first one, I'm going to hit it, and my hand's going to stay a little behind my wrist when I hit it, but I'm still going to have the L on the follow-through. So where's this one going to go? See, that one went fairly low, but I still did the L. So I still allowed the club to hinge back up. It was just a little bit different impact position. Now this time, I'm going to let my hand catch up with my wrist, did the same L. Well, now that ball went significantly higher. Okay, so all it's doing is the position of my hand. I'm going to come here close to the camera. So the position of my hand relative to my wrist. So if I run the club into the ball and my hand is even with my wrist, that means the club shaft is going to be at about a 90 degree angle to the ground. So that's going to maximize the loft in the face. If I come into the ball and my hand's a little behind my wrist, that leans the shaft a little forward, de-lofts the face a little bit. The further my hand is behind my wrist, the lower the ball goes. Now, when they used to talk about lag, here's where I got in big trouble with lag. When I started, I lagged the club this way, so my right hand was there when I came down. So if I was late unloading the, the club, or letting the weight go, all it did was hit the ball low, but it hit it straight because my wrist was here. When I got in trouble is when they told me lag was like this and my right palm was facing out. Okay, so now if I hung on a little too long, I couldn't catch the face up quick enough. So if your right hand's working correctly, the L to L, I mean, I could sit here and do the L to L, and the ball would be going multiple different heights, different trajectories. He'd go, how? It was just a little bit different right hand to wrist position when I hit the ball. But this part over here stays the same, and this stays the same. So it's just little different alignments. That's, these guys are so good. See, they can, they can take a little loft off, add a little loft as they hit it. Now, there is another way to control trajectory. What is that? You can move the ball position. Now, the reason I don't like moving the ball back in your stance to hit it lower for most people is because when you move the ball back, what happens to your swing? It gets steeper. And so then you start sticking the club in the ground because you're not shallow enough to use the bounce. So now the leading edge goes into the ground. Plus, the harder you hit down on it, if you're doing that in the wind, it puts more spin on the ball. So you can be into the wind trying to hit down on it and it actually spins up. So if you want to put it back, you can put it back, but you got to put it back in your stance. Plus, be shallow into the ball so you don't take big divots and get too steep. So you can move the ball or you can just change this, which is basically doing the same thing. The reason I don't like to move the ball back is I tend to get too steep trying to do that, and then what happens if I don't hit it perfect, I'll hit a little behind it, or the ball runs up the face and it doesn't go the distance I want it to go. So you control trajectory in the L to L the same way you do with every shot, by this relationship.
Be sure to subscribe to my channel for regular updates and tips. Thanks for watching.